right, guys. This kit was about under 50 bucks. I think it was uh, $35 on Amazon. So, first I'll tell you about it because I couldn't find anything on it. So you got the fuel tank cleaner. You have the acetone, the second part. And then you got the seal, which is straining down there. Now I'm going to tell you what I did because when I... When I use this, I had some surface rust, and this uh, solution, it was green, it was green, I'll show you that here in a second. Toilet bowl cleaner, it removes rust, lime scale, and hard water stains. Now, I got some before and after pictures of my tank of what it looked like, and <laughs> I've seen some videos on uh, the toilet bowl cleaner doing uh, some really good working job. Uh, as long as it has the rust remover, it'll do its job. It doesn't have to be the basic works, works toilet bowl cleaner. So anyways, um, I did that. I put about 10 of them in this tank. It's about a five gallon tank. I matched it with a bottle of water of each bottle of toilet cleaner I put in there and I scrubbed it now and then. And then after I did that, full 24 hours, I worked doing pressure washing so I got a high pressure hose, cleaned it all out, put some baking soda in there, neutralize it, and then I put this back in there. I put it back in there even though it was brown because uh, I wanted to make sure I was doing it right. I mean, it's a, a degreaser cleaner, and if there is any chunks in there, I wouldn't have done it. But it just turned a uh, green solution into this brown, brown solution. So after that, they give you some acetone, fuel tank prep. That's all it is: is acetone says to put half of the bottle in there, shake it around, get it out, and then put the rest of it in there and let it sit for a little while. And of course, uh, I got to tip the tank on the sides to get it on everywhere. Now, after all that, you're soon to be ready to put the liner in. Now, I'm not too crazy about it. I've never used it before. People say that you could uh, put acetone in the liner to thin it out, but I don't know why you would want to thin it out. I would think it would make it more runny because this stuff is pretty thick already and it starts drying as soon as it hits the air. Um, see if I can get some good, uh, let me see if I can get down in there. This is the second coat, and it's a polymer liner. I got some here dried up from yesterday. It's really dark in there, man. I mean, it's all right. As long as it dries and it does what it's supposed to, I mean, it's barely even coming out, so I, I don't know what they would have uh, expected when they say drain it out, don't let it puddle, because it won't cure all the way. So this is some stuff that uh, I had poured through my funnel yesterday, and it's pretty neat. I mean. It's pretty thick. Hold on a minute, guys.
So this isn't even a uh, 24 hours, but uh, uh, it's pretty good. Just seeing how flexible the stuff is, you know. See what it takes to uh, to rip it, you know. And it does feel pretty dry for uh, the thickness of it. You can sort of see. Polymer liner kit still dripping. I hope it does a good job. I'm gonna have to clean all this stuff up on the edge. I don't like it when things look sloppy, and I'm sure a lot of people don't. So, alright, um, that's my uh, review on the Northern Radiator Fuel Tank Liner Kit. Appreciate it, guys.